So what experiment are we doing today? We're investigating the time it takes for different types of chocolate to melt. And what equipment do you need to do that? OK, so we need lots of thermos flasks um, filled up with warm water, not too hot. And then for each group of three children, we would have um, a large tray to contain any spillages. We would also need a water bath, just a plastic tray, three foil trays, paper clips to the side for the children to put the chocolate into, a cork mat for just a little bit of insulation to stop the water from cooling down yeah. too much, and then a lolly stick each for them to stir the chocolate with, and a stopwatch each as well, and then a piece of white chocolate, milk chocolate and dark chocolate. So I was very careful about choosing three different types of chocolate where the size of the chunks could be identical. And um, what would you do if you don't have enough stopwatches to go around? If you didn't have enough resources for all the children to do it at the same time, you could have one group working with the milk chocolate, one group working with the white chocolate, and one group working with the dark chocolate, or you could just have one group doing it and rotate the groups around so they're not all doing it at the same time. And what are the main health and safety considerations? I, mean, I suppose we've got hot water for a start. To yes. Start. How we, do you manage that? Yeah, we made sure that when we filled the flasks, it was around about 50 degrees um, by doing half, half hot and half cold water in each flask. Yeah. Um, we need to make sure that it's always the adult that fills the water oh. bath for the children. Um, we have cold water on standby just in case of any accidents. And I'd also make sure that I knew of any allergies um, that were present in the class. What are the main teaching points in this experiment? that different things will melt at different points, at different times, depending on what's in them. I chose the dark chocolate um, because it had 85% cocoa solids in, and the higher the cocoa solids, the more natural uh, the state of the chocolate, because the added fat and sugar and milk in the milk and the white chocolate will affect the melting rate, because yeah. those substances will um, melt it, uh, have different melting points. So th the purer chocolate will, in theory, melt quicker. So I deliberately chose a very high cocoa content for the dark chocolate so they yeah. could get that contrast of results. Um, but more importantly, the, the scientific investigative skills that, we, that we're trying to um, bring out in the children. So the planning of the scientific method of the fair testing, the observing, the measuring, and then following the practical investigation, then being able to look at their results um, and draw conclusions and then perhaps make a graph of their results. Mm -hmm.